In this video, you'll see the steps involved using the windshield repair kit. Here are the items packaged in the kit. There's the injector barrel. Notice the pin on the injector end. You use that during the repair. The kit also contains the adhesive seal, a pedestal, a container of liquid resin, and the curing film. You'll have to supply a safety razor. We suggest a scraper, but a single edge safety razor blade will work. It's recommended that before you start the repair, read the printed instructions that are included in the kit. Become familiar with the instructions and the items in the kit. Windshields are made with two pieces of glass with a layer of plastic known as PVB sandwiched in between. Stone damage creates a break in the outer glass. The object of the repair is to fill the break with resin, removing the air pockets. To start, clean the damaged area. Clean out any loose glass particles from the pit of the brake using the pin from the ejector. Replace the pin after use. Clean the area surrounding the brake using a dry cloth or a paper towel. Mount the seal to the windshield. Peel backing off one side of the adhesive seal. Line up the hole in the seal with the pit, pointing the tab upward. Press the seal to the glass. Do this by running your fingers around the seal to ensure a good bond. Remove backing from the seal. Start at the tab and peel the backing from the top side of the adhesive seal. Mount the pedestal to the adhesive seal. Line up the pedestal with the adhesive seal making sure tabs match up. Press the pedestal to the glass. Run your fingers around the pedestal to ensure a tight bond. Place resin into pedestal. Cut the tip off the resin container about one eighth of an inch to open the stem. Place the stem one quarter of an inch into pedestal opening. Slowly squeeze the tube, releasing the resin into the pedestal. Continue squeezing the resin tube and remove from the pedestal. Wipe any excess resin from the tip with a cloth and save the container for step 11. Connect the injector to the pedestal. Ensure the plunger tip is positioned in the injector barrel just above the pin valve. Press fit the injector into the pedestal with the pin valve lined up with the tab. Ensure the connection is tight. Next, lock the plunger in the vacuum position. Hold the injector with one hand and pull the plunger upward with the other hand. Lock the plunger by engaging the lower notch in the plunger with the spring clip. Release your hands and allow the device to remain in the locked position. Let it sit for 10 minutes. Fill injector with air. First, remove the pin valve momentarily to let air in the barrel. Then replace the pin. Move the plunger to pressure. Hold the injector with one hand and rotate the plunger releasing the spring clip from the lower notch. To press the plunger downward to engage the upper notch with the spring clip. Let the plunger sit for a minimum of 20 minutes. Remove the pedestal from the glass. After 20 minutes, loosen the outer edges of the pedestal with a safety razor. Once the top part of the pedestal and seal is bent away from the glass surface, Grip the pedestal tab and slowly pull until it's removed. Wipe away any excess resin. Pit filling procedure. Hold the resin container in one hand and the curing film in the other. Slowly squeeze the resin container, applying a drop of resin into the pit. Place the curing film over the pit which holds the resin in place. Curing and finishing. Run the safety razor lightly over the film to vent out any air bubbles. The sun's ultraviolet rays cure the resin, so park the vehicle in direct sunlight for 15 minutes. On hazy days, park the vehicle in sunlight for a minimum of one hour. To finish, scrape off the cured resin and the clear film flush with the glass surface using a safety razor.
Then clean off the glass and the repair is complete. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Avoid using in direct sunlight. Work in a shaded area. Do not work on a hot windshield. And open the windows to, to cool off the glass surface. Do not let any resin come in contact with the painted surfaces.